Horses are on the track for race seven at DuCoin. An elimination of the darn safe for Illinois bred two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. Top five come back for Saturday's final. These various championship finals go for $50,000 per division with the exception of the Governor's Cup, which will go for a $100,000 purse on Saturday. Here are the starters for the seventh. Number one, Fox Valley Money Man, owned by Sam Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable Incorporated of Downers Grove by Jerry Graham and Chris Daniels of Salem by J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Wade Barbary. Tony Morgan is up. 1A, Notorious Buck, owned by Jerry and J.D. Graham and Chris Daniels, trained by Wade Barbary, Dale Heitman, the driver. Number two, Guten by Mac, is owned by Brenda Watson and Kenny Collier of Fairfield, trained by Kenny Collier, the driver is Connell Willis. Number three, Scott T. Yankee, owned by Joshua Banks of Cannon Falls, Minnesota, the trainer driver, Craig Banks. Number four is Heather Fion, owned by Bambi and Jim Fox of Paducah, Kentucky, trained by Jim Fox, and he is the driver. Number five is Looking for a Job, owned by Lynn Wilfong of Kentland, Indiana. The trainer is Dirk Simpson, and the driver is Dave McGee. And number six, Abra, owned by Phil Rietfeld of Crete, Robert Rietfeld of Bourbonnet, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler of Crete. Post time in only three minutes. Case rolling for race seven. The darn safe, now in its 26th year, named after the two-time Illinois Horse of the Year who raced for Hayes Fair Acres Stable and who is buried on the infield of the Magic Mile. Here they come. Heather Fion off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Notorious Buck goes for the lead. Looking for a job, gets away second. Fox Valley Money Man is off stride as they move into the first turn. Scott T. Yankee was rough-gated at the start as well. Fox Valley Money Man is still off stride. And Notorious Buck, the other part of the entry on a break. The entry is last and next to last off stride in the turn with tons of ground to make up. They're being led by Looking for a Job, who leads it by a length and a half. Abra is parked in second around the first turn. Guten by Mack goes a close-up third. He's in good position. Opening quarter in 30 and four-fifths. A gap of seven more to Scott T. Yankee. Another ten lengths back to Heather Fion, who is racing in the fifth position. Up front, there goes a change for the lead. Abra was parked for the first three-eighths, but now makes the top. Abra leads it a length and a half, looking for a job second by the same margin. Guten by Mack is third by two. Scott T. Yankee has caught the top three. He's a much closer fourth. Six more lengths to Heather Fion, a long way back to Notorious Buck, and Fox Valley Money Man is last. They're single file at the halfway point with Abra on the lead by a length and a half. The half in 103. Looking for a job is racing in the second position. Guten by Mack is third. Scott T. Yankee is racing fourth. Heather Fion is fifth, racing eight lengths from the front. And Fox Valley Money Man is off stride last. Notorious Buck is still next to last. Midway on the final turn, Abra leads it, but Guten by Mack takes to the outside to challenge. Here's Guten by Mack taking the lead by a half length as Abra fights back to the three quarters. Three more lengths to Scott T. Yankee outside of looking for a job. Three quarters and 134 and two fifths. Guten by Mack and Abra matching strides at the top of the stretch. Four more lengths back to looking for a job who's third inside of Scott T. Yankee. The rest have ground to make up. At the eighth pole, Abra regains a short lead. Guten by Mack is there on the outside, then looking for a job at Scott T. Yankee. Abra and Guten by Mack continue their struggle in the lane. Guten by Mack comes at him one more time. Abra still there, down to these two. Abra short lead. Here's the line. Abra by a neck. Guten by Mack was home second, looking for a job was third in 203 and three fifths. Number six, Abra finished first. Abra the winner. The two, Guten by Mack was second. The five, looking for a job third. Number three, Scott T. Yankee fourth. That result is official. Abra, owned by Phil and Robert Rietfeld of Crete and Bourbonnet, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler, bred by Jerry Graham of Salem. The winning two-year-old Colt is by Valley Victor out of Heather Beth by Cooper Lobel. A couple of people have asked if Abra is a brother to Cadabra. He is not. In fact, he is not even from the same maternal family. It's just a coincidence that Homer happens to drive this trotter named Abra. In the winner's circle, Homer Hochstetler with Abra, the official winner of race seven.
going to try to grab a word with Homer Hochstetler. Let's talk to Homer. Homer, I want to get your thoughts. A lot of people in the press and around Illinois are talking about watching Cadabra, the horse that you developed and sold after his two-year-old season. What's it going to be like for you, watching Cadabra, who will be one of the favorites, if not the favorite, in that World Trotting Derby come Saturday? Well, I just hope he keeps winning. Uh, when I sold him, I thought it would be great if he lived up to, to his billing, and I, so far he has. And it'll be special because we have his mother and we have a yearling colt. So uh, I'm looking forward to watching him. I think all of us will be looking forward to that. Homer, you did a great job with that colt. Best wishes, of course, to all the competitors on Saturday. Congratulations, Homer, on this win. Thank you. Homer Hochstetler, our winning driver.